Yeah, it's uh, obviously our second year coming in now um, with the new group, uh, the draftees starting to mix in and things like that and uh, the boys are really enjoying their time up here. Um, it's a bit of different uh, scenery compared to Melbourne and it's a good experience as well to get a nice beach as well, a bit of good weather and uh, yeah, the boys are starting to really gel well. We've done a lot of team bonding activities, team dinners, things like that and it's I suppose an environment where we're put together 24-7 to really um, improve our bonds and make sure we've got great synergy heading into the season. Yeah, a lot's been said about the, the importance of the bonding and the importance of sticking together and really developing those friendships ahead of the season. Um, how, how important do you, do you think it is, uh, you know, as a member of the collective, to, to be up here, to get that opportunity before the season starts, to really get to know each other and to really gel well? Uh, a few new faces again this year, a few boys up here doing their first camp. Uh, you were up here last year doing your first camp, so um, how important or how much importance do you guys place on being able to, to get that unity in the bond together? Yeah, obviously, I suppose for the uh, the older fellas that have done a few seasons, got a really good uh, wrap around the game plan and started to create good friendships. Um, it's just a good time for them to, I suppose, get away from Melbourne, increase fitness, things like that, and uh, get their head around, I suppose, footy coming up. For us younger boys going off last year, I think it's great for the first years because this is their chance to really buy into the team and uh, get good relationships um, with people that, I suppose, been here a lot longer. Um, and also a good chance, I suppose, we have a lot more meetings, things like that, where they can really get their head wrapped around the game plan and all those types of things that go into it. And this time around, you, one of the new additions is Andrew Russell. Um, how have you found his influence over the group and in the fitness programs? Yeah, Russ is obviously a really experienced uh, fitness coordinator and high performance leader. Um, got a lot of experience and uh, the boys are really benefiting from that. Um, he's a really good fella off the field as well, which uh, I suppose is uh, really epitomised around football clubs. Um, the boys love having him around. He's a bit of a larrikin at times, which is good because you need a bit of that on-field, off-field balance. And uh, yeah, he's bringing a lot to the group. I think people out here today and uh, supporters like that um, can definitely get confidence that we're we're moving pretty well. Yeah, what's impressed you about the um, the new faces like Sammy Walsh and, and Stocker and, and the like uh, on this camp and in the preseason so far? Yeah, it's. Uh, it's been uh, pretty amazing the way that they have gelled. Uh, while she's obviously been labelled as pretty much an AFL footballer coming in, um, the way he's been able to come into drills and be uh, getting through full sessions already, only uh, I suppose three months in, is really good. Um, Stocker and those boys are um, starting to gel into the group really well. Finbar is uh, starting to become a bit of a cult hero around the club and uh, the boys love getting around him. So yeah, it's been uh, really good. I suppose having that inclusion, and uh, there's yeah definitely a few more personalities running around. And what about yourself, mate? How's your pre-season been so far? And um, with the fitness and everything, uh, where's what stage are you at? Your full system, full systems go, or been any limitations so far? Or? I had a few little issues uh, towards the end of the year that I just needed to get uh, fixed up. So it's been, I suppose, a little bit of a slow start to pre-season. Getting to the uh, full stage now, where I'm really getting going and uh, getting through full sessions. So. By uh, JLT, I should be uh, all systems go. Lucky, uh, what do you make of the Queensland Bluebaggers into that open training? Yeah, it's been great, all the support. Obviously, it was probably not the greatest conditions, fair bit of rain coming down, so uh, it's amazing for the boys to have uh, support all around Australia, and I think the way that the Queenslanders get around us is second to none. So I think, yeah, the, all the boys um, from me just. A big thank you to them, and uh, we really appreciate the ongoing support. You were here this time 12 months ago. How was it different for you? Um, I suppose now, being a second year, we're a lot more confident uh, when it comes to structure, things like that. So we don't have to, I suppose, think about all that stuff too much. We can just get back to really uh, playing normal football and uh, all those things that we've been training for the last year to the system and things like that is now more so habit. So we're really more, a lot more relaxed, and you can really start to just enjoy the camp as much as. Uh, as much as what you are getting into it, so it's a good experience. What did Chris Judd have to say after track to the conversation? Yeah, it was good talking to Judd. We just talked about what we've been getting up to in the off season. Uh, he's talking a little bit about athletics and things like that, so uh, it's good. I think Judd's had a pretty uh, pretty low key summer. He said he's been getting around, so it's also good having him around here because just a little bit of advice as well. I'm uh, starting to learn a few new roles and things like that to really adapt on my game. And uh, coming from Judd, I don't think you could really get better advice. Thank you guys.